Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Howdy everyone What is up guys So My name is Michaela Dafu Santoso I am from 8D And today uh, I am going to be presenting About Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm And Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm Is a book written by Kate Douglas Wigan So what are you waiting for? Let's just hop into the presentation. First of all, we have introduction, which is the main part. Anyways, let me tell you about the author of this book. And also this book. So, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm is a classical American novel made by Kate Douglas Wiggin, the only one. The book consists a story of a girl named Rebecca who had to learn to adapt in her new environment. So, first of all, let me tell you about Kate Douglas Wiggin. Kate Douglas Wiggin, who was an American educator and author of children's story, started her first free kindergarten in 1878 and established a training school for a kindergarten teachers during the 1880s if I'm not wrong. Anyways, Kate Douglas Wiggin was born in 1856 and 1923. And now I'm gonna tell you about Rebecca. So, Rebecca is a very young lady who lived with her mother and siblings in Sunnybrook Farm. But then, unfortunately, she was forced by her mother to move to her aunt's because probably there are too many family in Rebecca's old house. Anyways, Rebecca had to learn to adapt in her new environment, like I said, with her friends and stuffs and schools and anything. And when Rebecca was old enough, she went to college and started writing papers. So, yeah. The next part, we have settings. First of all, we have North River Boro. So, when Re Rebecca was selling soaps with uh, her friends in North River Boro, he met Mr. Aladdin in this place. And now that he she knows his real name, she calls him Mr. Lad. And next we have Rebecca's aunt's house. Of course you guys know this, you know. Because, like I said, Rebecca lives here, right here, right now. Alright, guys. Every time Rebecca goes into the house, she probably feels cold breeze wind through her skin. So, yeah, guys. Because I am Miranda, like I said, but I am going to tell that in a bit. And now we have the schoolhouse, which is a perfect place to make friends and learn new subjects for Rebecca. And now we have characterizations. First of all, we have the main character, which is Rebecca herself. Rebecca is a very, very nice girl and very polite and nice to everyone. And you can find that in page 24. She said, would you mind if I took it upstairs? That is really nice, guys. And next up, we have Aunt Miranda. You know, the scary one who gets angry every time. Oh, my God. Anyways, Miranda is a not pretty good aunt, you know. But eventually, she became good. Anyways, yeah. She was really mean. And I found it on page 27, or every page in the book you can find her, Miranda. She always angry, you know, guys? Anyways, you're going to ruin that bed spread with your dirty feet. And that is in page 27, Miranda said that. And also we have Jane, which is a really nice aunt. Surprisingly, uh, she is really nice to Rebecca because Jane always gives Rebecca what she wants. And you can find that in page 55. But that doesn't change how hurt her feelings were. It simply was nice of you. Yeah, she said that. Anyways, next up we have Mr. Cobb. Mr. Cobb has always been like her own dad to Rebecca, you know. 
because Mr. Cobb has always been shining, shimmering, and splendid stars in Rebecca's life. So, yeah, I mean, Mr. Cobb is really supportive around Rebecca and stuffs. Anyways, uh, you can find that in page 8. Hold on one minute, and I'll help you out and up. Mr. Cobb said that. Next up, we have the main idea of this book. So, the main idea is, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm is a story about a family that is torn apart and how Rebecca became an independent individual that jumps over any obstacles in life. Yeah, Rebecca was a really independent girl. She learned how to be become one and she really did became one. And the moral value of this presentation is, of the uh, book is, family and friends are the most important thing in our life. Family is always there to guide you and also real friends are always there to support you no matter what. So guys, please treat them the same way as they treat you because or not, you will regret that, you know. They are really nice to you, and they're always nice to you. So you have to treat them the same way as they treat you. So, the conclusion uh, that I take from the book is, the book is really great for all ages, and the book is easy to read because uh, it has some really easy words in there, so yeah, and the font is really clear, and the book contains a lot of good messages, like I said, guys, because the book tells you how to be an independent uh, person in the future, you know, so yeah, this is a really good book, good for all ages, and good for everyone. So, we came to the last uh, page of my presentation. So, let me tell you this, guys. Everything negative, pressure, challenges are all an opportunity for me to rise. That is a quote taken from Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. We love you. Anyways... So yeah guys, we've come to the end of my presentation and I hope you guys enjoyed my presentations and I hope it will give benefits to all of you, uh, yeah, to everyone. Anyways, so I'm going to close this presentation. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See y'all in my next presentation.